hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so so far in the electrical and electronics uh, measurement section we have discussed about uh, the performance characteristics the static and dynamic characteristics we discussed about accuracy errors the different types of errors the different ways of representing accuracy so <clears throat> in this video we are going to discuss about a very important concept related to the performance characteristic which is calibration of an instrument okay a measuring instrument <coughs> so we'll discuss about that so before doing that uh, we should have a quick look at the basic concept of measurement so measurement essentially involves the comparison of the quantity or parameter of unknown magnitude which we want to measure the value which we want to get with a known quantity or predetermined standard okay so this is the basic concept of measurement and the results that we get the output it must be provable <clears throat> so this is the process which is called as calibration the reliability of the results how can we say that whatever output we are getting from this instrument it is correct or not we can trust it or not so that is the result of calibration the instrument has to be calibrated with a fixed standard or reference or with a instrument of higher accuracy known instrument so that is the process of calibration okay the reliability of the output so the process of measurement it essentially involves the quantity which is to be measured the unknown quantity and the reference the standard then the result which we get it is the output okay so this is the block diagram which we have already discussed in the measurement basic concept section and here it is the input output model <coughs> of a measurement system so i said that uh, with the desired input the input which we want the input for which we want the output apart from that there are other inputs which become part of this system okay uh, no matter how much we try to eliminate them it will be there so this is the modifying and interfering input along with the desired input then we have uh, the transfer function blocks for the desired input and for the interfering input the modifying input affects both the desired and the interfering input the output of these blocks is summed together and we get the output i have already discussed it in detail in the input output model of the measurement system you can check it out there now calibration okay calibration basically is the process of uh, determining all the performance characteristics of the instrument the measuring system in one way or the other okay so the output it is given on a it can either be analog or digital uh it means uh, it will have a certain fixed range uh, minimum value maximum value then it has to be divided into certain units one unit uh, or a unit scale will have a certain value so whether it is analog or digital the correct value of each scale reading each scale the lowest unit okay suppose from a uh, let's say um a uh, output uh, range is from 0 to 100 volt it is divided into 10 units means each unit is 10 volt let's say whether each unit is 10 volt or not means we have to design the scale in such a way we will uh, use a pointer scale arrangement and we are uh, setting a scale from minimum value 0 volt to 100 volt uh, we have divided into 10 units 0 to 10 to 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 100. now whether each those unit is 10 volt or not whether it is really 10 volt or not determining that we cannot just 
put a scale and say that okay we have written it 10 volt so that's why it's 10 volt no first you have to calibrate that when we give a certain amount of input the pointer moves in a certain uh, uh, how much the pointer deflects whether that is actually 10 volt or 9 volt or 8 volt one scale reading the process of determining that is calibration okay so calibration is done by comparison with a known standard uh, a primary or a secondary standard which acts as the reference or with a instrument standard instrument of known accuracy now you know in the uh, introductory uh, basic concepts of physics we have discussed about units dimensions and measurement we have all studied that there we you, you uh, might have uh, mm, you know units how one unit of a particular quantity how is which what is actually that we have already discussed what is one ampere what is one volt what is one ohm uh, then uh, all of those now we are particularly interested with the electrical standards volt ampere and ohm okay because all the output values in electrical and electronics measurement will be in terms of these volt ampere ohm voltage current or resistance so we are particularly interested in that so there are various standards that are present uh, in uh, the representation of a unit measurement so here the concept of standard comes into play it is a physical representation of a unit of measurement the determination of each value of each unit that is determined as per a reference which is called as standard so there are various types of standards available international standards primary standards secondary standards working standards this is a separate uh, concept in itself we will discuss it in separate videos so for now you just understand that a standard is a physical representation of a unit of measurement what is actually one volt what is actually one ampere what is actually uh, one ohm determining that is called as we have to compare it with a known thing so that is uh, where the concept of standard comes into play now for electrical and electronics measurement and instrumentation the instruments the devices the apparatus the, which are used the electrical standards come into play okay so here the voltage standards current standards resistance standards these come into play so what is one volt what is one ampere what is one ohm so these are the things that are covered by these uh, standards okay and they are all related by ohm's law it means that if we determine two parameters we can determine the third one if we know voltage and current we can determine resistance if we know voltage and resistance we can determine current if we know uh, current and resistance we can determine voltage so we'll discuss it in a separate video for now you just understand that the comparison with a known thing okay to determine the correct value of each scale reading okay of a measuring instrument is called as calibration so the process of calibration so the initial stage of calibrating any measuring instrument it is that for this input output model which is applicable for every measurement system two of the inputs okay two of the inputs let's say modifying and interfering they are kept constant and only the desired input is varied okay and varied in steps okay in units it means if uh, one is uh, uh, let's say if first it is increased by let's say we are using a thermocouple for a thermocouple first we gave 10 degree celsius then we'll give 20 degree celsius then we give 30 degree celsius now how much for 10 degree celsius the output of this thermocouple will be in terms of volts let's say for 10 degree celsius it is giving an output of let's say 1 volt i'm just saying 10 degree celsius let's say 1 volt for 20 degree celsius let's say it is giving 2 volt for 30 degree celsius it is giving 3 volt let's i'm just taking an example now they have to check you know by considering the reference instrument the standard instrument 
in the reference instrument what is the output for 10 degrees celsius okay in the reference instrument what is the output for 20 degrees celsius in the reference instrument what is the output for 30 degrees celsius they will check that they will compare that you know they can use specification sheets or whatever uh, they can have uh, those reference instruments the prototype of such inst reference instruments uh, with them so that they can check uh, with that or they can have secondary uh, instruments secondary standards with them so we have to check so the the process is that first the instrument is taken then input is given for example uh, we have considered the case of thermocouple the input is given uh, with uh, let's say 10 20 30 degrees celsius it is increased then as per the standard what is the output for 10 degree celsius what is the output for 20 degree celsius 30 degree celsius the instrument is calibrated that when 10 degree celsius is given to it it will show the same output as it is shown in the standard the output for 10 degree celsius for the standard should be the same for the output of 10 degree celsius in the instrument both the things should be the same that's why uh, uh, this process of calibration is important okay so uh, uh, th this is the reason why if we if, if suppose we take a, a voltmeter of different brands and we check the voltage it will show nearly the same output okay let's say for x brand we check the voltage between two terminals it is showing 10 volt if we take a brand y and we check the voltage between the same two terminals it should so, uh, show the same voltage okay it should not uh, show something else because they have been calibrated all the instruments have been calibrated by using a standard okay so this is the uh, process of calibration so one of the input uh, one of the inputs is varied while the other are kept constant then the output values for each input is checked it is recorded and an input output relationship curve is developed for each instrument input output relationship graph and uh, they are calibrated with a reference instrument or a standard which is available the electrical standards so this is the same thing uh, the instrument is considered the one of the inputs is varied the desired input and the other inputs are kept constant then the various types of input values are provided and it is checked that the instrument is providing the same output as it is in the standard instrument so they are the same the input output relationship for both the instrument and the standard unknown instrument or the instrument which is being checked tested and the standard they are the same okay so this is the process of calibration okay so this is a very important uh, part of designing a, a measuring instrument because if calibration is not done properly then the output will always be wrong okay a falsely uh, or a, 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 a instrument which is not calibrated properly will always give wrong output it means suppose the output between uh, at a particular um, uh, let's say a particular output is 2 volt it might show 0.5 volt 1 volt or 20 volt like that so if uh, let's say 10 instruments 10 different instruments 10 different types of instruments of the same nature or ten, uh, let's say 10 different types of voltmeters they show the same reading almost the same reading there will be little bit difference in uh, 0 0.1 0 0.2 difference or 0 0.3 difference but more or less if they show the same reading it means they have been properly calibrated okay so this is the whole concept of calibration okay uh, the instrument uh, input output relationship is compared with the input output relationship of the standard such that when the same inputs are applied to the instrument it will show the same output it will give the same output as it is in the standard okay then we can uh, trust the output values then they are reliable so this is the whole concept of uh, calibration in measurement okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much